This is a Breville Barista Express 870 XL. Uh, it was tripping the GFCI here in the kitchen. Every time I plugged it in and looking up online, uh, most common problem is that there is a leak in one of the lines on the boiler, the steamer, I don't know the correct terminology, um, usually caused by an O-ring that's inside of a connection like this. In my circumstance, the leak was occurring right here, where this plastic coupling screws into this black piece down there. Uh, that was causing condensation, I guess, on those electrical connections, which was then causing a short and tripping the breaker. Uh, can't really see it, but on the tube right here, there's some residue. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. Mm, there's a little bit of residue, which is an indication that there has been a leak. But you can see the steam coming out of there. When I powered up the machine and uh, tried to steam milk and I just screwed this plastic piece tightened it down back onto the black piece as a threaded connection with an o-ring on the inside I was able to just tighten it back and it's working fine now I did check the o-ring here at the top pulled that little pin out and then pull the hose off high pressure hose um, pulled the o-ring out of there it was fine. Looked at a few of the other O-rings like this one here and they were all, they all looked fine. So if you do have a problem where you are plugging the machine in and it's tripping your breaker immediately, uh, take it apart. There's lots of videos out there on how to disassemble these things um, and check for where the steam leak is. And you might have to replace an O-ring and you might just be able to find the leak and tighten the connection. Also, I did take measurements of the O-rings that I found with a little micrometer. Um, most O-rings are the, of the orange type and have a 7.37 millimeter outer diameter and a 3.48 millimeter inner diameter. I did find one black O-ring uh, with the dimensions that you can see here. Um, I didn't take every hose off, but um, I only found one black one and the rest were orange. Now, the O-rings that you may need may not be exactly this dimensions when they're listed as when you buy them, because I did take physical measurements with this micrometer, so it may be a little off, but it will get you very close give you the confidence that you're buying the correct o-rings so here are the o-rings that i bought on amazon um, the dimensions that i measured correspond to a 007 or 007 o-ring uh, you can see these are silicone uh, you get a pack of 100 which is a little ridiculous but they are very cheap on amazon and should be exactly what you need to repair any leaks due to a damaged o-ring